Magandang buhay! Once again, welcome to Kitchen Goers by Amy and Lian. And today, I'm sharing you another recipe. It's a crispy fried fish. Please find me. 갑자기 내게 나타나죠 너 난 아무 말도 할 수가 없었지 첫눈에 반한다는 이야기가 널 보는 순간 이해가 됐어 매번 야야야야야 Okay, we have here 2 kg of pink parch fish and I'm making a scars on the both side but actually you can skip this step because just now I was thinking to cook another kind of fish and suddenly thought of another kind of dish. So on this recipe, we don't need to make any scars because later on, we gonna open up our fish into butterfly form. So we just want to wash properly and ensure that our fish is clean and remember to scrape the scale. Just now when I bought this in the market, I already asked the anchor to scrape the scale for me so I don't need to do at home. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying just now. Cut into up into a butterfly form. Yeah, into butterfly form by cutting the back of fish. And be gentle when you're handling your knife so we don't hurt our hand. So we just take out those uh, remaining intestine. By doing this way or this manner, this will help to cook faster our fish and it will make it very crispy, it will very crunchy for every bite. As it's all done and opening into butterfly form, so we wanted to pat dry using a kitchen towel to reduce the excess liquid on fish. So they're all done. We gonna season it with salt and ground black pepper. If you want it to taste like a daing, though it doesn't smell like a daing, but it tastes like, so you can be just generous of your salt. So we do it by side by side. Ensure we spreading the salt on the entire fish. So as we done seasoning, we just gonna wrap it with a plastic wrap and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to absorb the salt before finally frying them. It's cooking time! So let's heat up enough cooking oil to cover the fish while frying. And while waiting to heat up our uh, cooking oil, Let's get through to our fish. We want to sprinkle cornstarch on the sides to absorb extra liquid and make it crispy. Yeah, this uh, corn flour will help to absorb some of the remaining or excess liquid that is still held on our fish and make it very crispy. We 
you don't need to very thick. It's just a thin layer, or not even a layer. It's just a dashing, dash of flour. So, okay, so it's ready for frying. Okay, let's draw in and let's set our fire in a medium high heat and let's fry approximately three minutes or until golden brown. ready our dipping sauce we need a lot of limes squeezed and strain the seeds using strainer and we need also some of a red pepper and some garlic I want to add lots of garlic because I love the garlic tea taste add any salt on our dipping sauce because our fish is already salt enough so here we go with our crispy fried fish with lime garlic and red hot pepper dipping sauce please enjoy thank you for watching and god bless you all bye bye Okay.